This is the first calculation video for the microscope building lab. Um, this calculation video will show you how to calculate using the thin lens equation, which is equation one in the lab. So shown here is the beginning, the first page of the lab, and you'll use the thin um, lens equation or equation one, which is one over F equals one over I plus one over O for um, answering, uh, calculating the answers to table two in the lab. You'll use the same equation in calculating the answers to table four. That would be the real image distance in table four. You'll use that same equation when you are calculating, I think, the virtual um, image distance here in, um, in question number seven. So it's a very important um, equation to use throughout this lab. Okay, as we said, the equation that we're using is 1 over f, which is the focal length, equals 1 over i, which is the image distance, plus 1 over o, which is the object distance. So I'll write it up here. f equals the focal length, i equals the image distance, and O equals the object distance. So if you have your lens, here's a little diagram. If you have your lens here um, and your object up here, the distance from the lens to the object is O. This is O. And then the distance from the lens to the image, which typically looks like that, this distance would be I. Okay, so how, what are we going to do to calculate? So um, oftentimes you'll know your focal length. In this lab, you, cal you determined it in part one where you had a single lens. Um, sometimes they might give it to you, but let's use the value of five centimeters. I think most of you guys got close to five centimeters. And then your object distance in this lab you would have found experimentally. So my object distance for part one, where you had a single lens, you would have put right here, or here, or here. So this is where you would have your object distance. And from whatever numbers you had in these spaces right here, you would calculate the image distance. In um, part two, or the compound microscope, um, you found your object distance of three different lengths of your microscope, and you put that data in table three. And um, and in uh, number seven, you would have calculated the object distance based on the difference of your microscope length to your real image. So in all instances in your lab, you will be able to find your op object distance. So let's just say that the object distance in this case is six centimeters. So now I have to find I. So I'm going to replace my variables with the numbers. So one over five, one over F is one over five, equals one over I, my image distance I'm trying to find, plus one over O, which is six. Okay, so then once I have that, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna subtract one over six from both sides. So I could put my one over I, my variable that I'm looking for on one side of the equal sign. So one over five minus one over six equals one over I. The next thing I'm going to do is, because when I add and subtract fractions, I have to have the same denominator and the same number on the bottom. So I'm going to multiply both sides, both fractions, by 1. But I'm going to pick the number 1 that I want to use. So for 1 over 5, I'm going to multiply that by 6 over 6. And you know that 6 over 6 equals 1. And for my 1 over 6, I'm going to multiply that by 5 over 5. 
And you guys know that, uh, you know, obviously I used, oopsies, I used, um, I crossed, so I used the 6 over 6 because the 6 was in the denominator and 5 over 5 because the 5 was in that denominator. Okay, so when I multiply fractions, I just multiply straight across. So 1 times 6 is 6, 5 times 6 is 30, minus sign is still there, 1 times 5 is 5, 6 times 5 is 30, and then that equals 1 over i. Okay, let's keep going. So 6 over 30 minus 5 over 30 equals 1 over 30. And that equals 1 over i. And therefore, if I flip both sides upside down, I'll get i equals 30 centimeters. And that's how you calculate using the thin lens equation. So you just write the equation, you find your values of f and usually o, plug them into the equation, make yourself have a common denominator, then you subtract the two fractions. You only subtract the top part because the bottom is a common denominator and it stays. And then you can flip both sides and then find the value of the image distance in centimeters.